Moochie Robinson up there. What's good, Eagles gang? This your boy, Mucci Robinson, coming in with another video. And before I get into it, of course, please like, share, and subscribe as I bring to you more Eagles content on the daily. Uh, what I just got finished hearing, I'm very shocked. I'm very surprised. Um, Y'all let go of Travis Fogel. Uh, must have been. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's why he was on the on the practice squad or the, uh, no, excuse me, uh, special teams at the last game. Because I guess y'all, I guess y'all had another idea for him. Um, Hightower, he's cut. Uh, he wasn't producing like I thought he should be, and he haven't got better ever since. I mean, this is only his second year, so I'm pretty sure he's going to go somewhere else. Um, so he shouldn't worry about, you know, as far as getting cut or getting upset. But he wasn't producing like J.J. arcega Whiteside. Like I said, after what he did in that last game, J.J. arcega Whiteside made a touchdown, and he made a couple uh, catches that was impressive. Um, like I said, he got hands. And... and they wasn't using him right when he first got here. So that's why I believe they're still going to keep him. But Travis Fogum, um, that's a, definitely a shock. Uh, who else did they trade? They traded Matt Pryor to the Colts. And we got a, a 2022 uh, six-round pick for him. Uh, I mean, I guess that's all right. But it's just, like I said, it's just a shocker with these wide receivers. Uh, we, like, we got rid of Huntley. I wasn't really a fan of Huntley, but... Uh, Elijah Holyfield, I thought we was going to be able to keep him, maybe put him on a practice squad or something. I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, we wasn't using these players right. Uh, I guess, you know, Nick Sirianni got a different plan for different players, but I wouldn't mind keeping Holyfield still on the practice field if we could have kept him. Uh, we got rid of, um, of course, we got Nick, rid of uh, Nick Mullins, uh, you know, just so we can get um, the other quarterback. We got rid of uh, Jaquette. We got rid of Andre Patterson, Matt Leo, Craig James, quarter cornerback. I mean, he was doing some impressive things while he was here with us, but um, I guess they, you know, got another agenda. Uh, we got rid of Rashad Smith. Uh, after I was reading, we was up to like 70 players, so now we might be down to like 60 something, almost making it to the 53 man roster. I mean, again, I'm totally, I'm shocked. I'm appalled. Just like, it's like wow, you know. So. Uh, I don't know who else will be going to cut that's going to be uh, be a surprise. Travis Fogum, oh man, like I said, he was on special teams, so obviously something that was telling you something. Oh, of course we got Garner Minshew coming in, so that's why we got rid of um of Melons. Um, it's just I can't believe. Uh, it's like who else will, are we going to keep, especially like on defense, like. Uh, Milton Williams, hopefully we keep him. Hassan Ridgeway is nice. T.Y. Uh, uh, McGill, he's nice. Mullen Talupu, I can't say his name again, but he was nice. Hopefully we can keep him. Trayvon Johnson, after what he was doing, he did a, like, a nice job. So hopefully we can keep him. So it's like there's so many players that, I, that has potential that I want to keep. But, I mean, if they see something different, like that's what it is, you know, so... I don't know. Who else are we going to cut? Who else are we going to keep? Um, I don't know. I'm going to keep y'all posted. Uh, tell me what y'all think, who we should keep or who should we let go. But other than that, like, I don't know. I'm just I'm just shocked. <laughs> and then they uh, cut Cam Newton. Hopefully Cam Newton, uh, hopefully he don't come over to the uh, NFC East. Hopefully they don't, hopefully the Cowboys don't catch, uh, pick him up. I don't think he's a, um, I always think he's a starter. He never want to be a backup. Uh, that's first and foremost. I know for a fact he don't want to be a backup. I know he wants to be a starter, but because of uh, Dak Prescott's situation, would they bring him in? Uh, I was thinking, let's say, well, at first I was thinking about the Giants, but they too much into Daniel Jones. Then I was thinking about Washington. But I think, like I said, they are a pretty base team. So I don't know um, how that would work out. But other than that, like I said, man, this is just this is just a shocker um, that Travis Fogum, they, they waived him. But, I mean, he might be great somewhere else, you know. So, other than that, I don't know. Just uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Please, again, like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to get back to you more Eagles uh, content on the daily. So, fly, Eagles, fly. I'm going to holler at y'all.